There's already a risk reward tool built into MetaTrader 5. Hi, my name is Hugh, and in this video, I'll show you how to access that tool. And you don't have to pay anything extra, you don't have to install any indicators, and you don't have to install an extra EA. But first, this is just a quick reminder. There are a lot of scams going around and people pretending to be me online, especially on Telegram and Instagram. I'll never contact you via DM on any social media platform. And just because an account uses my logo or my face, it does not mean that's me. Always do your research. And if you have any questions, always contact me on my contact form at tradingheroes.com. First, I want to clarify something. This is often referred to as risk to reward ratio, but in reality, it is the reward to risk ratio. So you want to have the reward over the risk and it's not the risk over the reward. So for example, let's say that you got 200 pips of reward and you risk 100 pips to get it. So your reward to risk ratio would be two. And same thing if you had 500 pips of reward and you took 10 pips of risk, your reward to risk ratio would be 50. So if you're new to trading, that will help you understand the tool better. Now let's take a look at the tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the Fibonacci tool and I'm going to hack it to turn it into a reward to risk calculator. So to do that, I'm going to select the Fibonacci tool here and I'm going to draw it out. And as you can see, the traditional Fibonacci retracement levels are in there. So what I'm going to do is double click on the tool and make sure that the boxes are present in these corners. Uh, if you don't see the boxes, just double click on the lines and they will appear and disappear. When the boxes appear, right click on the line and then go to properties of Fibo, and then you'll get this screen. Then go to levels and then delete everything that's not the zero or the 100. So uh, delete all of the Fibonacci retracements. Now, if you're actually gonna use those retracements and you are a Fibonacci trader and you use Fibonacci extensions and retracements, then leave those in. But if you're gonna use this only for uh, reward to risk calculations, then you can delete everything else because it just gets in the way. All right, now that you have all of the extra levels removed, it's time to add in the uh, reward levels. So to do that, just hit the add button. And from zero to one is gonna be your risk. That's the amount of risk that you're gonna take. So for the description, I find it useful to use the R multiple or the multiple of risk. So this is gonna be one R or one times risk because it's gonna be the same amount as the stop loss, right? Uh, so I'm gonna do one R and then at and then I'm going to add the price in. So I'm going to do percent sign, dollar sign, and that's just going to add the price that that level is at. So you can set your take profits or your stop losses accordingly. Now, once I do that, I'm going to add another level. So this is going to be three, and then this is going to be two R at, and then percent dollar sign, and so on and so forth. You can add as many levels as you want. I go up to 10 R, but you can do something different depending on how you trade. Now, another thing you can do is you can add half level. So you can add a level in between. So let's say that you want to do a 1.5 R. So this is going to be the difference between two and three. So that's going to be 2.5, right? And then in the description, I'm going to do 1.5 R and then the same thing at and then dollar sign or percentage dollar sign. Now let's take a look at how that looks on the chart. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to bring this down. And if you don't see the little boxes here to move it, just double click on the line. The boxes will disappear and reappear every time you double click. And when you see the boxes, you can click and drag them. All right. So when I bring this down, now you can see that I have a 1R, 1.5R, 2R, and you see the exact price on the line. And just really quick before I move on, remember that if you want to learn how to use MetaTrader 5 like a pro, watch this and that will get you started and show you everything you need to know. All right, now back to the tutorial. All right, now how can you actually use this? There are two different ways. First, you can use the tool as a take profit level marker. So as you're taking a trade, you can set up the Fibonacci tool to show you the reward to risk ratios. And you can see if there's a good chance that price will hit your profit targets. So I'll show you that on the chart here. I'm gonna delete this, okay? And then I'm gonna select the Fibonacci tool. And let's say that I took a trade maybe up here where I put a stop loss above this candle and I entered on this bigger candle here. So in order to use the Fibonacci tool as a reward to risk calculator, start at the point where you would enter. So I'd put my mouse here and then click and drag up to the level where you're gonna set your stop loss. So let's say that I was gonna set the stop loss above this candle. So I'm gonna move it there, release the mouse, and now you have it on your chart. Now let's say that you're always looking for two R from your trades. So maybe your chart looks like this now. What you can do is you can add the Fibo tool here and then let's say that you want to enter the trade here and then you want to set your stop loss above this level here. So if you set it like that, let go of the mouse button and it looks like there is enough room for it to hit 2R here. So you're probably pretty good on that trade. And just for fun, I'll fast forward and see if that level would actually get hit. 
And yes, it did get hit, as you can see here. So this is a super easy way to mark off potential R multiple profit targets. So that's one way you can use it. Another way that I like to use it is I use it as a hindsight tool. So when I'm reviewing my trades, I can see how much profit I missed out on. So let's say I set up this tool to go down to 10R and maybe 10R was down here. And as I'm reviewing my trading journal, I look at my trades and a lot of my trades tend to hit 8R or 10R. If that's the case, then I should find a way to extend my profit target or trail my stop loss so that I can capture more of the profits. If you found that video helpful, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching and check out these videos that are coming up next.